Andy, uh, defeat in the FA Cup this afternoon, but uh, again, like Tuesday, a lot of positives to take from it. What were you, your thoughts on the game? Um, I think in moments like this, when you know you've got a team that's coming from four divisions, are you? Um, you know, and I've been told they're 99th in the football pyramid and we're 574. You know, to take it to what was it, 86, 87th minute, and, and you, you know, we're the ones that have, in my opinion, dominated the majority of the game with the way we've played. I'm, I'm immensely proud, not just of the the football club, the players, you know, the fans, uh, all the volunteers that have helped to to make this this day happen. And, you know, unfortunately, runs come to an end, and, and uh, you know, as a manager, I'm, I'm disappointed in it. But by the same token, I'm, I'm immensely proud of the football club. A couple of changes to the starting eleven. Obviously, Chris Holt back in for his um, second consecutive start yeah. after injury, and Niall Cummins filling in for, for yeah. Joe Denman at, at centre back. We've got to sort of talk us through the decision behind them. So, well, I think that's another one you've just added there. You know, we're playing against a team seventh in the conference with our centre forward playing centre half. <laughs> so, um, and he, he looked comfortable. I'll be honest, I thought he looked comfortable at times, bar probably the, their, their goal at the end. Um, so, unfortunately, yeah, we you know we had we had a player sent off last Saturday, and, and you know our captain, our other centre half's injured, and Niall's got that experience, and sometimes you just need that experience and know how. And, and I thought he was superb with, with, with Jimmy Moore in there. Um, you know, Chris Holt again is coming back from injury, gave a good, a good 60 minutes and he'll continue to get stronger as he goes along. Definitely and obviously it was sort of backwards and forwards in the majority of the, the game. Was there sort of any point at the, uh, throughout the game that you thought you might have been in the draw for the first round on Monday? Well, I think once Lewis hits that one, I'm, I think we're on the ascendancy at that point. I think even first half, to be honest, you know, by the first eight minutes where you know, the, the last kind of instructions we said was we need to get in people's faces because that's what we are at Berry. We want to play on the front foot. Um, we didn't do that in the first eight minutes and that's how we got caught cold on the first goal. But after that, I felt we did it really well. Uh, and then second half, you know, we, we started where we left off from the first half. Connor hitting the bar. You know, we had five shots on target, I think three off target and a number of opportunities in the box. So second half we, we've come out and um you know we just wanted to continue and uh, with that momentum and you know lewis gilboy strikes absolutely out of this world in my opinion uh, you know the way he's hit it um similar to connor's earlier on in the the rounds but i did have that feeling at that point you know this it, can we win it um and to be honest i'll take it on the chin a little bit we tried to go for it um but again, um, it didn't work. Uh, but again, that was our ninth game in the FA Cup, uh, our first ever try. So immensely proud of the club. Um, this is their football club and I'm, I'm so proud for them. And obviously it's a, another week of cup football, the, the League Cup uh, on Tuesday before the, the FA Vars uh, next Sunday. What are you sort of, what the plans for the, the next few days? Uh, we'll train Monday as normal. Um, you know, make sure that a few are uh, back for. You know, obviously we've got a few that are coming back from uh, ineligibility. Due, you know, they've already played in the FA Cup. Um, uh, and other than that, mate, I, you know, we're still really early on in the season. But I think that's our 19th game. And these lads, you know, they, they work day in, day out. You know, they're not a full-time, we're not a full-time club and they put a right shift in for, for, for the fans. And I think they see that. So all I'd say from this point onwards, and I know we've got a big fan base, but if that isn't an advert to come and support your hometown team, I don't know what is. I just want to ask, is this a short sign of how far this club can go? Without a doubt, um, you know, people come in the droves today and, and and like I said I thought the atmosphere is up you know incredible you know same with the York fans they added to that but you know this, this, this we need to get behind this team now because we, we've got a long season ahead but this is their club you know them lads will fight for you and, and and that's what we want that's what we want to achieve as a club we want to to play in big games like this whether it's in the league whether it's in the cup and um, you know, these days don't come round too often, um, but we've done it at the first attempt um, and we've took a, a team, you know, uh, seventh in, in four divisions higher right to the wire. Can you believe how far this club, club has come in the time you've been here? I mean, you told stories about coming in here and having three weeks to put a team together. <laughs> well, it's not just me. You, you look around and you've got 
everybody helping on a match day, volunteers here, you know, in there, serving food, serving drinks, greeting people in it and creating this fantastic environment for non-league football and for our football club. So it's not, it's, it's everybody, you know, it's not the I, it's the we, and that's what Berry AFC is all about. What's the, what's the target now for this season? Is, is another promotion sort of the aim for the season? Uh, again, like we said last year, we, we take each game as it comes. It is an old cliche, but, um, you know, we've, we, we've obviously had first 10 league games, which has been stop-start due to, to the FA Cup. Um, at the minute, we've had a couple of injuries that have affected us. Um, and it's you know we just want to win as many games as possible, um, but you know we need every single uh, fan and volunteer and everyone from from our town to come and support us and get behind us to really create this this fortress atmosphere here. Thanks for your time, Andy. Well done Cheers. Thanks, Andy.